and Stuck at Home. Hey, Stuckers! Welcome to today's challenge, which is called Water Wonder. Because I'm all about the water, and I am a wonder. And people wonder about me. We wonder a lot. <laughs> In today's challenge, we are going to learn some new things about water. Great. So for level one, we're going to have a look at what things sink in water and what things float. So I've got a little jar here with a lid and I've just got some little stones that um, are from a fish tank actually. Uh, so you might have some little stones or find some stones in the, in the garden. Then we're going to put some water in there. I wonder, Sal, if you wouldn't mind putting some colouring in there just so we can see it. Nice and easily. Sure. Thanks. Right. Are you going to put a fish in here? Ooh, probably the fish won't like this bit because now <laughs> I'm going to tip some oil in just from the cupboard. You might just need to ask permission before you start taking the oil. And we'll pop some oil in. Ooh, bubbles. Bubbles. And then we're going to shake it all up. Ooh, it really bothers me that that lid is going to... A I'll just stand back in case it does. Shake it all up. Is it going to explode? Oh. <laughs> and then we're going to let that sit for a while and see what happens, see which things sink and which ones float. We'll have another look at the end of today's challenge. In level two, we're going to mix some things with water Great. to see what happens. So I've got two glasses of water. I think I'm going to start with some sugar. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to put a little bit of sugar in with the water. And I'm going to give it a good mix because I'm interested to see whether the sugar will dissolve in the water, which means that you won't be able to see any of the sugar, or whether all the bits will still be on there. So there's still some bits in there. Still tiny little bits in there, but the more I stir, the less there are. All right. Wow. So, all gone. All gone. That means that sugar does dissolve in the water. Great. Well, I'll do another investigation and let's try pepper. Would you like me to do this, Sal? Yes, I would. <coughs> it might make me sneeze. Sometimes <coughs> pepper gets up my nose. Peppercorns. And I'm grinding here into the into the glass of water. I'm just sitting on top at the moment. Yeah. Let's see what happens oh, when look, you stir. Some of them are starting to fall. Yeah. Okay, I'll give that a stir. You might like to drink this with your dinner tonight, kid. <coughs> in there much so yeah, they're having fun though going yeah, around and around having a good little party a lot of stirring so the water's gone a little bit brown but mostly there's still pepper everywhere so i think we're going to say that oh pepper... give it another little bit of a stir let's just i'll do it the opposite direction maybe oh, that's okay. all it needs could have been an anti-clockwise thing no no i think we'll say that pepper doesn't dissolve in water so we thought with some permission Try putting some different things into water mm. and seeing what dissolves in water and what doesn't. Great. And now for level three. We're going to learn about what happens when water and detergent mix together. So I've just got some washing up detergent in here and I've got a toothpick just so that I can get a, a little drop of it um, when we're ready to do our experiment. And the other thing that I've got is just the little tag off the top of the bread, this was actually off a bag of potatoes, but it's the one that you see on uh, the end of the bread. Uh, we're going to fill our bowl up here with water. You might like to use a Tupperware type container so that you can see. You might want something a bit bigger. You might be able to use the bath or the kitchen sink. Um, but just fill it up with nice clean water and make sure there's no detergent in that water at the start. Then we're going to put a tiny little drop of detergent into the hole in our boat and watch what happens on the water. So let's carefully put our tag on top of the water. A boat. A boat, I mean. Now we're going to get our detergent. You turn the boat around. And I'll get it. Oh, I get seasick. I'll get a nice little drop. And we'll put it in our boat. And see what happens. Away it goes. Ah, oh. Whoa, all the way to the other side and around in a circle. That's very cool. Oh, it's oh going wow, back. it did a whole lap. <laughs> that is great. Oh, I've done that experiment a few times. 
to thyself and what we just got then was the best version I've ever seen. It did a whole awesome. lot. was very, very impressive. Awesome. And, and I didn't get seasick. Oh, well done, Sal. Thank you. Now, if you don't have one of these little bread tags, um, you can actually make yourself a little paper boat. Um, I've tried with a few different types of paper and most of them have ended up sinking. But if you've got some maybe shiny, glossy paper. From a that, magazine, maybe? Yeah, that might work. Um, and just fold it up into a little boat. But remember, you need a little section at the back so that you can have a little line that will push away. Now the science behind that is all about surface tension, which is probably a bit too complicated for us. Today, let's just enjoy the fact that it happens. And if you've got a, a busy, curious mind, you can maybe find out a bit more about that in the future. Hmm. Kim, yeah. what happened to that level one jar where we were seeing things that sink and things that float? Mm. I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see it, but the rocks have definitely sunk to the bottom, Sal. Definitely. And again, it's a little bit hard to see, and I think if we were sitting here a bit longer, mm. we would see that the oil would actually... Yeah, there is. There's an actual layer of oil along the top. Yep, you can see that So there. the oil floats yep. and the pebbles sink. Yeah. Why don't you find some other things around the house and see whether they sink or whether they float in water and try and work out why. Great. So we've learned about sinking and floating in water. We've learned about what mixes in with water, what dissolves. Mm -hmm. And we've had a bit of fun with a little detergent boat on the water. Mm. Lots of good things. And uh, water is actually also pretty good to drink. So It is. Yeah. All right. Would you like a glass of water with pepper in it? Ooh. There's one over there. Oh gosh, no thanks. No. Okay. <laughs> That's all for today, Stuckers. We know that you're stuck at home, but remember, your family's stuck with you too. So try to be an easy person to live with. Yeah. See you next time, Stuckers. See you, Stuckers. Here's something that I've learned about water. It's delicious to drink. Make sure you drink lots of water while you're stuck at home, Stuckers. See you later. Is this me? Yeah. <laughs> water disappear? Sure, but salt Magic trick. is definitely... This is sugar. This is sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, I'm hoping you're not cooking a birthday cake or anything anytime soon. There'll be lots of salt in it. <laughs> I also like the way you keep your little finger out there just to make it a bit more of a delicate operation. <laughs> you're drinking this when I'm finished. <laughs>